I'm Martin Rubenstein. Uh, I'm a hospital-based optometrist uh, working at uh, Leicester Royal Infirmary in the Midlands. Um, I'm also an honorary professor at Aston and Leicester Universities. I come from a medical family and uh, I struggled at school with my A-levels and um, really uh, failed to get into medical school, which I applied for originally. And having done that, I was then some of them suggested to me, well, you could do optics, as they described it, at Aston, because I grew up in Birmingham. I, I found it extremely difficult, actually, to start with in the first year, because it was very much like A-levels, which I'd struggled with in science anyway. But things improved as I went through the course, and by the time I got to the second year, I, I started to enjoy it. And um, along the way, I met one of my first sort of mentors, a, a lecturer called Humphrey York. Um, and he looked after me in the first year and got me through that into the, the more clinical area in, in the second year. And uh, from then onwards, things just improved for me and I found things that I enjoyed and was interested in. I finished at, at Aston and I, because I was always interested in doing medicine, um, I, it, it was a fairly obvious thing to me to consider doing a hospital pre-reg. So I applied for several jobs and um, I took a job at Cheltenham General Hospital. They didn't tell me this at the interview, but the pre-reg was actually expected to teach uh, student orthoptists, and you just got landed with this job from the second week. And actually, I, I'd never done teaching before, and I really enjoyed doing that. It was absolutely ideal, and uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that year. So that was my beginning in hospital optometry. I eventually qualified, uh, but I really wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Uh, I really enjoyed the hospital optometry uh, pre-reg, but I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to do in the long term. So I actually went back to Aston University um, from pre-reg uh, to start working on a research project towards a PhD. I was very lucky. I met the next person who was very influential in my career, which is Professor Graham Harding. In my third year of doing my PhD, I uh, applied for medicine again. In September, I, was a, I got my PhD. And 1st of October, I was a first year undergraduate student in medicine. And I had the most dreadful year in Leeds. It was absolute chaos and it was awful and it was just like going back to the A-level stage again and it just didn't work. And uh, decided, well, I need to get back to optometry. I, I went to Colchester Hospital for four years. Um, and at the same time as working in Colchester, I had a secondment to Moorfields Eye Hospital in London. So I was at Colchester for, on average, about three or four days a week and then one or two days a week at Moorfields in London. Uh, which again was a, a very important thing in terms of my career, particularly going up to Moorfields. I met a lot of uh, very useful people for me and very important people in my career. Uh, people like Janet Silver and Jeff Woodward, who were heads of the respective departments at Moorfields. And so I then moved to um, Nottingham Hospital, which was a much bigger teaching hospital. And I think that's really where the main thrust of my career has developed, really. There was scope in Nottingham and in other hospitals to develop the roles. Um, and at that time, there was money for staff as well, which things have changed since then. And so we could, you could expand your staff, you could expand your roles. And, and that's what I've really enjoyed doing, like, like many others in hospitals, really. I, I suppose after a while, you start thinking, well, what, what am I going to do next? And I've certainly always very interested in learning and teaching. That's my other area of interest. Um, so I've been involved lately in developing certain aspects of corneal services in Leicester. Um, I'm not alone in that, a number of us have been doing it, particularly with treating keratoconus and that sort of thing. Well, the, I, I mean, the teaching I've enjoyed doing, and it's, it, it's very satisfying, I suppose, as, as any teacher, is to see your students doing well afterwards or, or remembering things that you told them. And I, I can remember that as, as a student myself, really. So I find that extremely rewarding. I've been very, very lucky in my career in having great variety in the things that I've done in my career. The, my main two areas for both clinical and research involvement have been, again, back to contact lenses, uh, particularly medical contact lenses, and interaction with the ocular surface. That's one area. And then the other area which I've, I've been quite involved with is, is research in visual impairment and its management. And some of that work's been done on my own or within the department. Some of, I've had quite good collaborative arrangements, both with colleagues in Cardiff and at Aston University as well. Um, I'm just looking at, at the, the way contact lenses can be used in, 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 within ophthalmology. 
and developing in contact lens, developments in contact lenses and how they've affected success in medical practice. Well, I think I've been, I've been extremely lucky. I've, I've been thoroughly enjoyed it, met lots of very interesting people and hopefully contributed in my way to development of optometry and, and the profession and, and uh, building the bridges between the two professions, which I think is unique to uh, working particularly in a hospital practice. And outside optometry, um, I'm interested in music uh, of all sorts. I always have been. And I think music was the reason my A-levels were so bad, because I was far more interested in music at the time. Uh, I'm interested in photography. Uh, I'm interested also in uh, gardening. I'm not interested in sport. <laughs> <laughs>